In this video, we will show you how to install a roof exhaust vent for your kitchen range hood using a 6 inch roof jack. All steps are time stamped in the description of this video along with the material list and the tools you will need to complete a project like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Step number one, go into your attic and mark your center. Try to mark your center as close to the range hood as possible, preferably directly above. If you cannot get above the range hood, don't worry about it. You could always use a flex tube. Step number two, access your roof and locate your center mark. Then cut out a full circle with a three and a half inch radius. Cut shingles only down to the underlayment. Step number three, from your center mark, using your flat bar, begin pulling nails from your work area. Carefully break shingle seal without ripping or damaging your existing roof. Then pull every nail 12 to 14 inches top, left, and right side of your center mark. Pro tip. Remember to take your time in this step because if not done correctly, you could do more damage to the shingles than needed. A sharp flat bar is recommended. Step number four, using your hook blade, cut the bottom half row of your shingle circle into a half circle as demonstrated on the photo. Notice how we are not cutting any other row but just the bottom half circle row. Step number five, start making your plywood cut. Notice I use my skill saw to make a small hole just big enough to get my sawzall in there to make a circular cutout. If you do not have a sawzall, a square cut works perfectly fine. Just make sure it's the size you need it to be. Pro tip, before installing your roof jack, notice I am using a starter shingle. This shingle can be any color. It doesn't necessarily have to match your existing roof. I'm going to slide in this shingle on both sides of the hole underneath the loose shingle rows. This is not going to be visible, but what this is going to do is going to serve as a flashing extender, giving your roof seal extra protection. Step number six, and maybe the most important step of this entire project. Install your roof jack sandwiched between your roofing shingles and your starter shingle, as you will see in the photo shortly. But first, I want you to notice I am pointing to the area that will be facing the ground. The reason why this side is placed facing the ground is because these flashings at one point were started with one flat sheet of metal, similar to a sheet of paper and fabricate around, but because of this, the seam where the metals connect is a weak area. It can allow water a leakage and facing it downward, opposite side of the water force will prevent this type of roof leak. Think about it, it isn't a solid tube. It's a sheet of a metal made round. This same rule applies to all the other metal flashings, not just the roof jacks. Here is what your roof jack should look like underneath. It should be sandwiched between the starter and your roofing shingles.
Step number seven, begin installing your inch and a quarter roofing nails to your roof jack flashing beneath the shingles. Because the shingles are existing, it is very difficult to install nails all around the flashing as we should. But doing this without ripping the existing shingles is very complicated, even for us professionals. So I recommend you install a minimum of four nails, two per side, as far away from the tube as possible while still holding down the flashing. The further away from the walls, the least amount of water your nails will see, which in turn will help prevent a roof leak. Once you've nailed down your flashing, apply your roof seal beneath the shingles around the perimeter edge of the flashing. Make sure you apply seal over the recently installed nail heads. We are almost done. Step number eight, use your roofing nails and reinstall every nail you pulled out from the previous steps. Start from the bottom row and work your way up. Pro tip, when installing these new nails, try to not install your nails on the same holes where the previous nails were pulled from because those areas are weak areas. Install your new nails one to two inches away from the old nail holes. The nice thing about roof jacks is that you can adjust them to meet the pitch of your roof. So what you see me doing is I'm trying to get it as leveled and straight as possible. Once you're happy with your flashings adjustment, install two metal screws onto the bottom exposed flashing. Screws are preferred over nails because they do not back up like nails do. Step number nine and final step. Apply your roof seal over new and old nail holes. Notice I am not using a lot of seal, just about a quarter size per every new and old nail. Doing this will ensure that water will not enter through the holes and that your shingles will not blow off with strong winds. And that is it. We are all done. Thank you for watching and please feel free to leave a comment with any questions or concerns you may have. We will see you on the next one. Thank you.